welcome. I'm joined by Sangeeta Reddy, Joint Managing Director of Apollo Hospital. Sangeeta, thank you very much for uh, nice speaking with us. Nice to be here, Govind. So yeah. we're talking about, you know, digital and going digital and shaping the digital future, right? Mm -hmm. So tell me, in the context of hospitals and considering that you're saying that you're going to announce uh, a first digital hospital or launch a first digital hospital, mm -hmm. what does it exactly mean in the context of hospitals and healthcare? So the, the Internet of Things mm. works in a hospital as well. Okay. And therefore... Uh, I think the big enabling things which are happening is that one, you put the patient at the center of everything that's happening in the hospital mm -hmm. and you give him a personal health record when mm -hmm. he's not in the hospital mm -hmm. and an electronic health record when he's in the hospital. Mm -hmm. So all data, interactions, everything you're doing goes around the electronic health record. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have a series of connectivity, so mm -hmm. machine to machine. Mm -hmm. When the blood analyzer mm. sees that somebody has a low blood sugar, mm. that machine talks to the hospital information system, mm. which messages the mobile phone mm. of the duty doctor on the floor. Mm. And all this happens in a fraction of a second mm. without any need for human intervention mm. till that duty doctor sees it and then rushes to the room to correct the sugar value. Okay. So these are enabling processes mm. because of the faster transmission of technology mm. of information through technology. So you're talking about patients who are already in your hospital in other locations, or this could be these are people who could be outside hospitals as well. So there's one mm. stream of thought for those who are outside. Right. There's a lot of work that we're doing for people who are not in the hospital. So mm. preventive healthcare, mm. sugar, our program for monitoring diabetes. Mm. So patients are uh, first thoroughly checked then given a protocol, which is a standardized protocol and then personalized based on the individual. So the doctor sees you then. Mm. Post that, we have a series of health coaches who are working on the phone. Mm. They monitor your daily values. So the patient does his own blood sugar testing, talks about his exercise, posts it on his personal health record. This is viewed in the distant call center. The health coach picks it up and says, you're not been compliant, please do a bit more of this. Your values consistently are going out of range. You therefore need deeper testing, come into the hospital. Mm. And then start counseling him, saying, look, if your values stay out of range for over 15 days, you could be damaging your kidney, your feet. So the complications, so it's education of the individual, empowerment so he knows what to do, continuous monitoring, and all done quite cost effectively because he doesn't have to travel to the hospital and he's not seeing the doctor. And, th and that was my next question in a way. So when you say cost effective, it's surely perhaps cheaper than the cost of traveling to the hospital. But Absolutely. what about the overall cost? How accessible is all of this? So the sugar monitoring package, we have a range of packages which go from 1,500 rupees to 7,000 rupees depending on, you know, mm -hmm. and, and in today's per India, no, uh, per year mm. for the program, mm. depending on the number of interventions. Mm. The medicine cost is extra, but then we can't control that. But mm. this is basically the advice and the monitoring. Mm -hmm. So these are new models which are emerging that we will be at the forefront of, which really empower the patient to stay healthy. So you're saying digitization for you means more close contact with uh, patient, current and potential. And intervention at the appropriate time in a quicker manner. Right. So like I said, I, we don't, people should not be scared of cancer. Mm. They should be scared of not finding cancer early. Mm -hmm. They should not be scared of disease. They should be scared of not managing their disease. Right. Because, I mean, the demographic is such, the human body is such, that certain things are going to happen. Right. So you talked about, uh, let's say, blood sugar. Uh, it could be, I'm sure, cardio-related uh, issues and so on. But w what about cancer? Is that something that uh, all of this can help perhaps detect faster or earlier? So there's the immediate term positive mm. behavior change and then there's the long term. Mm. In the immediate term, biomarkers are enabling us by just doing a blood test to mm. pick up whether you have the predisposition to cancer. Right. In the longer term, because we're keeping our data in a certain manner mm. and beginning to work on analytics mm. and also looking at global partnerships for that, mm. we will find new cures. Mm. And that is the beginning of a whole new era in healthcare, which we hope to very much be a very positive player in. So like I said, biology, that's the DNA mm. and deciphering, mm. bandwidth, mm. that's the connectivity, so individuals to pay, uh, doctors, and um, bytes, which is the computational capacity, mm. better imaging, greater analytics. These three Bs are just changing the way healthcare so is being the, delivered. Uh, is it, uh, would it be fair to say that the CTO is almost enjoying the same privilege as the CMO, or the chief medical officer in a, in a futuristic hospital? Not quite there okay, so to, the to tell you the <laughs> truth, yeah. but the CTO is playing a deeper supportive role. Mm. So, you know, maybe finances were scarce and so CFO had this big role. I mm. think CTO and CIO yeah. is driving the transformation of uh, healthcare 
institutions like Apollo. Right. So tell us the one thing that you are excited about in, in, the, in this sort of sphere of uh, going digital and integrating it into your world of healthcare and wellness. So, of course, the biggest excitement for me is the phone, okay. the mobile phone and putting that power into individuals' hands and our ability to reach out to people and keep them healthier. We will soon be launching HAP, which is the healthcare app, mm -hmm. and I'm looking for people to, to download that free and just keep themselves healthier because they have the knowledge and the information. And, and you get into wearable devices as well? 100%. Okay. We want to be um, a collator of m the information of multiple wearable devices mm. so that we just give the medical information because, I mean, I have my phone, I can mm. show you, I can take my ECG. Mm. But where does that ECG go? So we tied up with this Vinod Kosla company and said, we are the back-end cardiologists for the ECGs which are going into some cloud. <laughs> And yeah. for the data which is being collected and not translated into actionable information. Mm. So we want to be the health coach and the health guide and the translation of all this data into uh, better health behavior. And, and, uh, and a more me medical response rather than a pure wellness response is, is what I'm getting. Absolutely. It's a wellness and a medical response. Right. It's Sang both. Sangeeta, this sounds fascinating. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good Thank talking you. to you. And Thanks. we're looking for a healthy India. Yeah.